Yeah, in the middle of Bucket Bin Tang watching the shit go by. There's a Matt Sally. Yeah, mate. Because you're dull. You fat bloke, give me your money. What you want? <laughs> so I was just out in, out in a chill with me bro. Having a little bubble, walking around, sweating our cocks off. Spending as little as possible. Take a look at the second tallest building on planet Earth. It's a beast. What say you, Mr. Chris? Wow. What say you, DJ B? Ha. <laughs> the second tallest building on Earth. Architecturally, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. These are huge and they're everywhere, man. Check a look at that one. And again, I'm not in the main, wow, another one. They're just everywhere, man. It's like, oh, you think, oh, this must be the city centre bit. There's no, there's no bit, sorry, there's no bit of the city centre, like. It's huge. Um, and as I said, it makes Manchester look really small. Hey, I'm proud of my hometown and all you guys watching. We've got the best sense of humour in the world, some of the best music, some of the best football teams. We dress well and we know how to dance. But when it comes to size... No. This is a monsoon and hopefully within 30 seconds I'll catch a little boom of thunder. Early morning, a lot of lightning. I think it's down to an earthquake in Taiwan, that's what I've heard. I haven't even put my tooth in yet, my spare tooth. I'm stood on a balcony in a, a venue called Mantra and this is what you can see when you stood on the balcony. I've come to see my mate DJ Bernie, he's performing, it's his night, he runs the night. I'll be playing here soon and uh, this is the gaff, it's really cool. It's alright, I won't film you. And so yeah, it's kind of cool, you can see the Patronas towers and stuff in the distance. That's a true sight of uh, Kuala Lumpur. And that, my friends, is what a big city looks like. My friend Ravi, say hello. And we're just chilling, sharing a cigarette together. How are you? Haha, <laughs> that's good. Everybody in this world is equal. We show respect for Malaysia, for England, and for the world. Peace and love, yeah? Say, so see you, Ravi. Jumpalagi, yeah? That's a restaurant. And that in the hills there, uh, excuse the shell sponsorship, is a Chinese temple. Taoism, Buddhism. Uh, all of the Hindu um, subsections and so forth, all tolerated in what is essentially an Islamic country. Um, and this is where the tour starts. We're going to head that way. Uh, I'm going to show you how many businesses and so forth. There's a little fun fair over there as well, which I've never yet been to. But um, you know, I'm a fun-loving guy, and so that's the name. Okay, let's go. Some cool shops, modern stuff, coffees and that, but this is cool. Malaysian soldier there featured next to us. Stormtrooper of a kind, I'm not a Star Wars boffin. I like the first three. That's a typical uh, back street and so forth. So I'm here, and it's just called the gateway, but I'm gonna dust from this. It's not really my thing, a lot of kids clothes, and I'm gonna go that way. And the search for the hat continues. The coffee won't be difficult, it's everywhere. But the search for a little hat, that continues. This is the Port Dixon Roundabout. Um, and it's got the, the PD logo on it on the other side. And you can just see so many businesses, people coming and going. And it's a real hotbed of activity, this. And what I like, I mentioned earlier, I like to see is, some people come and pitch up in the evenings and it's all family business and stuff. So, a lot of independent business. And that keeps the local economy really going. I'm in people's way here, but you know, nothing new to that. I walk around my side and get in people's way. Um, real cool place, and uh, I'm looking for a new hat. This is the river that runs through 
Yonkers in Malacca. Look how brightly it's lit. And you've got these little um, like Venetian style riverboat bus stops. And I'm going to walk down, this is called the riverbank, obviously. I got my guitar on my back as well. So maybe I get a jam somewhere. But first, I need to find some Macan food. Pardon. <laughs> Put someone. Um, but this is so cool. Uh, have a look at this. This is some of the old colonial past. Again, no viewpoints on that but the architecture was good and here's the church check this out from 1753 it says on it look at that building nice. let me zoom in for you right on the riverbank there so this city was run by the Portuguese then the British I would assume uh, the Japanese uh, got to Malacca during the Second World War they certainly ran the country of Malaysia and now it's obviously, uh, you know, Malaysia's own, <laughs> quite rightly so. Uh, yes, guys, I'm sat on a big gun. Have a look at this. I am in the Portuguese um, port fort, which would be... in the river bank of Malacca. Check this out, it's crazy. These guns, they would have been pointing out to uh, ships that, you know, are coming in to try and take the land via the river. And check this out as well. Here's a little, look at this. This is a little portal, yeah, for one of the guys to walk in. You walk in, it's proper thingy. You'd we'll be shooting at man them, at boy them, <laughs> from in here. And this is really cramped. I'm six foot, just under six foot three. So, but, you know, that's pretty cramped in there. But there was one, two, three, four, five, six guns that could have been brought to bear. I don't know what this one was doing. This is facing inland. Maybe it was to keep the population under control. That's the monorail in the morning. Look at that, that's a cool building. I'm just downtown Kuala Lumpur. That's a residential. And I'm uh, just having my morning coffee. Everything good. And uh, Kuala Lumpur doesn't really come alive until after 9 a.m. Because it's a slower pace of life until unless you're on the road. And then it's perma jammed between 10 and midnight. 10 in the morning and midnight. KL City Centre's gridlock. Total gridlock. Uh, <laughs> just an outburst. So I'm just tired. I'm staying at a little B and B, but without the second part of the B, so I don't get breakfast. Um, and it's cool. Everything good. I'm gonna go and just on my morning walk. I like to go for a walk in the morning and uh, sample my surroundings. Awful lot of bikers in uh, Kuala Lumpur. It's probably the most common form of transport. And that's the LRT or the monorail actually. Just want to say thanks guys for understanding what's important. Flash of lightning, flash of thunder. That is the real deal. Oh, me are scared, man. Just the view from where I'm playing. Look at that, there's the twin towers in the distance. Let me let me focus that off you. It's third biggest building in the world. And there's the, the second biggest building in the world. Check it out. It's um, 13 quid here for a beer. So you understand. <laughs> it's 
So this is Soul Sword, and it's uh, what I would consider to be, um, well, it's a hotel of sorts, made up of these um, ship containers, refurbished. Uh, some of them are single houses, some of them are um, dormitories, and they're really cool. And you've got a little uh, cafe, which is why we're here, to go and uh, eat with. They've got kitchens, pretty, pretty dope place. Um, and uh, in uh, the spirit of save the planet and such, um, recycling these things is a really cool thing to do. And this is in Port Dixon, so shouts to the guys there. Look at that. And uh, amazingly, they've got a blunt lounge, but I don't think it's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Peace. Before. I just woke up, I'm in uh, Bangsar, I had a heavy night really with some cool cats, uh, I give shout outs when I've collected myself, everybody made me feel so welcome last night at uh, Mantra, shouts to DJ Bernie, and shouts to all the crew, shouts to Iran, shouts to Macedonia, shouts to France, shouts to India, Shouts to Malaysia. That was my crew last night. And now I'm on a mission to buy some morning cigarettes. Which I'll have a quick coffee when I get back. And in good French, je vais prendre dormir vite. Which means I will take a quick sleep. Uh, but I love this place. I mean, this is... It's just everywhere, and it's like, uh, that's nice, a Royal Enfield. Old school, huh? Yes, guys, I'm at the uh, Chinese temple in uh, Port Dixon. And only a fool would come out in this weather. And that's me, because it's ridiculously hot today. Um, I want to show you this here. This is very cool. You'd light incense and say a prayer, usually on behalf of some relatives that have passed. And a place to dash away evil spirits. However, there's my ma. Hello, mama. Thanks for bringing me out in the heat. You're supposed to have local knowledge. I'm about to expire. <laughs> um, and so this is the temple. It is a rather beautiful place and it's slightly elevated above the rest of the town, looking down over there and there's the Lord Buddha himself the jolly old man Omnima Pade, Omnima Pade. and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shoes off and uh, walk up for a minute and that's a beautiful place um, look at that waterfall a lot of natural stuff here and there's the laughing buddha a lot of temple places to pray and i'm being respectful because there's people praying and stuff and going about so this is the chinese temple of port dixon and now inside it's very calm so i will sign off and let people to pray in peace you best beware in the devil's playground I remember Like a summer in November It's not easy to forget Once again A little path 
different path, but once again, I'm in a jungle. Bad man in England, watch out, Coast Jeets in the jungle, yo. You never know Coast Jeets seems to live in a jungle. It's actually, yeah, so I've got to be careful because every time you hear these rustles, you know something's moving in there. Um, and it ain't me. <laughs> Indian temple of Port Dixon here. So much uh, detail in all the artwork and stuff, all the demigods and whomsoever is worshipped and represented here. And there's the portal. This is where people come and uh, and, and pray and stuff. Look at that, the lion on top of the globe and that. Kind of cool. And we'll go in here at some point and show love. Right. So. That's the temple, uh, peace and love. That's right, Kickapoo Joy Juice. Yo, you've got a filthy mind. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna try Kickapoo Joy Juice. I've already tried it. And uh, Kickapoo Joy Juice actually tastes exactly like Mountain Dew. So, fear not. Kickapoo. Drink some joy juice to stop it with the jokes. I've never been afraid to work hard and sweat. Dabby in the Middle East and I've got about eight hours to wait for a flight back to Manchester and so I decided to check out at the airport and it's way too hot man I'm like nah you know what I've got no hat I'm in black and I'm just roasting literally as I'm studying now it's like being in an oven um, so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go and explore the city but let me show you a bit of uh, Abu Dhabi in the distance probably see some of that. It's very flat country and ludicrously hot. There's a very large mosque in the distance there as well. But no, I'm going to be at uh, reading books and they said you can't check back in until minimum six hours before. So I've got some time to kill. Um, no, <laughs> I ain't going out. In I'm already outside and I'm already dying as I'm speaking to you. Uh, so peace and love. Peace from the Middle East, that's what I say. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's fucking roasted. Yeah, it's a bit more bearable now, the sun and that. It's a nice balmy 35 degrees at half six in the evening. Just smoking my bifter outside. So yeah, I've got a lovely place to sit. I'm inside, it's it's got a, a air conditioning, so it's cold. So I've got to come out to warm up. That's the wall where I did the video for uh, The Right To Know, released on Dow Records. You can still pick that up. <laughs> um, today's message, stay focused. Music makers, new day, crack on. God damn, I feel sluggish today. Peace and grease.